Today I'm going to tell you the story of Prophet Ezekiel. Come, let's sit there. Ezekiel, a priest from Jerusalem, was among the first group of Israelites deported to Babylon. Ezekiel was called as the sentinel of the exiled people. He was sent to preach the word of God and to keep their faith in God alive. Together with Jeremiah, Ezekiel was also responsible for the survival of Israelites who were exiled. In the last episode, you saw how Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had captured the city of Jerusalem. 10,000 Israelites were forced to leave the city and they were taken as slaves. Many of the Israelites had settled down at the banks of river Keba, and among these slaves, there was a priest from Jerusalem called Ezekiel. Oh no! This is all our mistake. How could we ever forget our Lord God? We should have never worshipped those idols. He gave us so much. He had always been so kind to us. But... But what did we do in return? Huh? What is that? It... It looks like a storm is coming. But it wasn't a storm as Ezekiel thought. It was a vision from God. His glory appeared as a bright light in the form of four fairy living creatures. They had the form of men, but they had four different faces and had four wings. As for their faces, each had the face of man in front, the face of lion on the right, an ox face on the left side, and an eagle's face at the back. There was a throne above the chariot, which appeared to be made of sapphire, and seated above the throne was a human form. And then there was the rainbow too. Ezekiel fell on his face when he saw this. God, it's you! Ezekiel, Ezekiel, I'm sending you to the children of Israel who has rebelled against me. Huh? Your life is going to be as miserable as if you are sitting on a scorpion. But do not be afraid. Then a scroll magically appeared from the sky and God said, Eat this scroll and speak to the house of Israel. You must speak to them whether they listen to you or not. Uh... Ezekiel was confused at first, but he then obeyed God's command. He ate the scroll. And once he ate the scroll, God's spirit lifted Ezekiel and carried him to another spot by the river Chebar. The spirit of Lord had taken him to a street in Tel Abib where many of the exiles were settled. Who is he? He had been sitting like that for seven days now. Hmm... It seems he doesn't talk to. I, I think, he looks like an Israelite, doesn't he? Hmm, yes, it seems that he's upset. Yes, he surely looks so. Come on, let's go. We don't have any time to waste. He sat there for seven days without moving. And the next day, Ezekiel had another vision. In this vision, he saw that God had made him a watchman to the house of Israel. He was standing on top of a watchtower, holding a spear. He was to warn the wicked people not to disobey God. Ezekiel did many strange things to make God's message clear to the people. One day, he had scratched a picture of Jerusalem on a clay tile. He drew figures of mighty army around Jerusalem. He was showing the people around him that God's holy city was soon going to be destroyed. Israel, the northern kingdom, had disobeyed God for 390 years. The southern kingdom, Judah, had disobeyed God for 90 years. This was the reason why Israel had been destroyed and why Judah would soon fall. God told Ezekiel to lie on the left side for 390 days then on his right side for 90 days to remind the people of their sins. Dear, what is going on? You have been lying like this for months now. Please tell me, I'm so scared. It's the Lord's command. 
He has commanded me to lie like this for twenty-one more months. But, but why you? Don't worry, dear. I was chosen by him to carry the sins of his people. Oh no! Stop it! What on earth are you doing? Why are you shaving your hair? I can't stop it, my dear. It's the Lord's command. I cannot disobey him. God had commanded Ezekiel to burn one third of his hair. Ezekiel went to the town and burned his hair in the middle of it. Ooh, what's that smell? Air. It's him. He must be mad. Oh, it's stinking. Come, let's go. Hey, you. What do you think you are doing? Are you doing some kind of magic? No, it's not magic. It's God's message to you. Like how I have burned one third of my hair. One third of the people in Jerusalem is going to die because of famine. Huh? After this, Ezekiel scattered a third of his hair in the wind. Another one third will be scattered to various parts of this world, like this. Huh? And then he took a sword and chopped off the remaining one third of his hair. Hey, what are you doing? Look here. Like this, a third of the people is going to die by the sword of the enemy. Ha 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 ha! You are a fool. So are you saying that everyone is going to die? <laughs> no. Like this, like these few hair sewn to the cloth, God will keep a few people of Israel for Himself. He will help them return to the promised land. Ha! Ah, that's rubbish. Come, let's go. Yeah, we are wasting our time here. The people got angry with Ezekiel, but this brave prophet was not afraid of speaking God's words. Israelites were hoping that things would get better soon. Many other fake prophets had predicted the same too, but Ezekiel told everyone that things were going to get worse and not better as they had hoped. One day. Few elders came to visit Ezekiel. But, Ezekiel, what are you saying? All the prophets in Israel are promising that our captivity will be over within two years. Yes, they are even saying that we will be able to return to our promised land in two years, and you are saying just the opposite. You must listen to me. All those who say so are false prophets. They are speaking only what the people would like to hear. But we broke God's covenant. The punishment has only started. How can you be so sure? Yes, not everyone can be wrong. Listening to us? Ah, uh, God. Huh? What is he doing? Looks like he's having another one of his visions. Yeah, he's mad. We are wasting our time here. Hmm. Let's go. While Ezekiel sat with the elders, God gave him another vision. In the vision, he was carried over to the temple of Jerusalem. In his vision, when Ezekiel reached the temple, he saw that priests were offering sacrifices to idols. Huh? What's going on? Aren't those priests supposed to worship the God of Israel? And instead, they are worshiping these idols. No, this should have never happened inside the temple. And in another vision, God showed him that His glory was leaving from the temple. He showed him that the temple was soon going to be destroyed. 
Oh no, the Lord is leaving the temple. When Ezekiel explained his visions to the people, they got angry with him. Ah, I hope the elders of Jerusalem will never hear about your visions. Yes, they will issue orders to kill you for speaking out against our temple. I am not afraid. In fact, I really hope they hear about my visions. They must know what is about to happen. They are the ones who are leading the people astray. But I know that even if they hear this, they will never repent. Only when everything is destroyed will they realize that I was speaking the truth. Hmm. Brothers, Jerusalem is about to be destroyed. God is going to punish everyone. No, I don't think so. We will gain freedom with the help of Egypt. Yes, and King Zedekiah is working hard for us. I don't believe you. You are wasting my time. And then it happened. As Ezekiel had predicted, Babylon destroyed Jerusalem. Thousands of people were killed by the Babylonian army and many thousands were taken as prisoners and slaves. Everything Ezekiel had predicted came.